Good morning, everyone. We are at the Chateau de la Lande, and we are in the room where it all began, where Isabella and I stayed three years ago when we first met Stephanie and Philip. We're here for the weekend. It is a grand Chatelaine weekend. It's a great swap of all of the items that we can't find a home for in our own chateau. We're also gonna go to Amos. We're going to have lots of adventures here at La Lande. You might recognize where I'm standing right behind me is Notre Dame. As you can see, it's definitely under construction still, but it's coming along nicely. Now, Simon is home right now doing some renovations to the chateau. I'm here working today in Paris. I have a big design job that I'm doing. I've got a couple of big design jobs here in Paris at the moment. And my client is in one of the best addresses here in Paris, right behind me. She is on the Ile Saint Louis. So that is the apartment behind me. And the view is this right here of Notre Dame, of the Eiffel Tower. And I'm here to do some sketches, get started on the work. And then this evening we are driving to our great friend Stephanie and Philip at the Chateau de la Lande, home of the Chateau Diaries, where we are going to be joined by a whole group of Chatelains. If you have an idea what a group of Chatelains ought to be called, let us know. We've come up with a flock, a gaggle, <laughs> all sorts of things. Maybe something that sounds like Chatelains, but there are going to be a whole pile of us there. Um, Terry and Ash from Chateau de la La Salle were going to be joining us, but sadly they couldn't make it. And I've heard rumors that we might actually have some surprise visits by Dan Preston from Escape to Rural France and also Bonnie who bought a chateau near me and you guys might remember her because she and I have shared a dining set and uh, she's got the buffet I've got the table and she's also recently bought a beautiful chateau so this is going to be quite the fun adventure we're gonna go shopping we are going to do a great chateau swap however because I'm here in Paris and we're leaving late tonight arriving at the Lande very late tonight I don't have time to go to the chateau and get anything and so I have another idea of special gifts to give to all of our Chateau friends. Um, I'm going to be giving them some pieces of jewelry and that's gonna be really fun. So as soon as I get back, I've got to choose some special pieces for them. And meanwhile, let's pop over to the Chateau and I'll show you what Simon is working on today. It's going to be such an exciting weekend and we're so happy you're joining us. I thought we'd do a little bit of DIY in one of the bathrooms here that we have on the top floor of the chateau. Uh, it's the same floor as we did the red room. So, uh, don't know if you remember from the video, but the red room is in here that we did. And then in here on the same floor is the bathroom that we just did the reveal on. So that's in here. We just did that one. And now uh, I have another one to do, another bathroom, which is in here. So one of the interesting things is you can probably see here, I've already put some paneling on the walls. This is where the sink unit's going. So this is gonna be the sink unit in here, around here. And we're going to do what we did in the other bathroom, the main bathroom. We're going to put a piece of furniture in here and create a nice vanity, a nice sink. And uh, in here, I've already started panelling out the room. And just filling in the areas here and smoothing it down so we can put a finish on that, some paint or some wallpaper. This is Vivian's tiling station where she was just doing the tiling for the uh, room next door, but that's all finished now, I think. So I'm going to clean this up. I'll tidy this all up and get some space in here because you can see the floor is really cluttered. Now I've got lots of uh, stuff that we've, tools and mess and everything in here that we've been creating from doing the bathroom. So now I'm gonna move into this bathroom. We're gonna have to do some paneling up here to finish this, to run because this is really rough. In this part of the house, which is old, um, we're just going to go ahead, I want to go in ahead and just put in the panelling. Okay, and you can see here there are some areas where it's really rough. And of course it provides a good surface for attaching things like pictures and so on. Um, so if we want to do that, then we can do that. 
So I'm going to get on with that today. Okay, well, that took a, about uh, 40 minutes or so, but look, got a nice clean working area now. I can actually get to work in here very easily. So I'm gonna be paneling that area there, down by the radiator, along the wall, to where the um, bath is going to go, and just tidy up, and up on here as well, if I can get up on here today. I'll do that. And as you can see, the weather here today in Paris is absolutely spectacular. It's warm, the sun is shining, it can almost be summer. So I do love springtime in Paris. Now I'm off to work. I love Paris in the springtime. I love Paris in the fall. I love Paris in the winter when it drizzles. I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles. I love Paris every moment. So you might not realize that the sun actually has swans. Look at them down there, aren't they beautiful? And I was wondering what to wear this weekend as I don't have a chateau wardrobe with me. I've just got a few black pieces that I keep with me here in Paris. But those swans are giving me some ideas about what to wear on Saturday night. So here I am inside the apartment and I just wanna show everybody this view. Behind me you see we have Notre Dame and we have the Eiffel Tower. And this is going to be a little bit of a challenge because this is such a spectacular address. It's a beautiful view. It's not the biggest apartment ever, but it has got so much style and character. But what we don't want to do is take away from this spectacular view. Everything is about the view. And so all the colors, all of the inspiration, everything is gonna come from the sky, the water, the monuments. The thing about Parisian buildings is that they're a combination of these wonderful shades of cream and taupe and silver. The water can be anything from green to blue, depending on the color of the sky and the season. And then of course, there are the colors of the trees, the greens, and then changing leaves in the seasons. And so I think I've got some really good places to start as far as color inspirations go. And can you imagine how spectacular this view must be at night as well? panoramic views from all three windows. And my work is cut out for me. But honestly, I could just sit here and watch these swans all day. And unlike the exuberant opulent decoration for chateau decorating here in Paris, we're gonna be going for something a little bit more understated, but also incorporating some art and antiques, because that's also, of course, gonna add a lot of life and character into this apartment. Now let's see what Simon's doing at the chateau. For the uh, next piece of panelling that's going to go on the top of the piece that I've already put in, I'm going to cut uh, some wood here, just using my jigsaw. It's very simple. Here it is. And I'm just going to cut along a line here because I have to cut a little, um, a little piece to fit in just under where the shelf starts and right up to where the joint between the roof that kind of slopes, that needs to be, uh, that needs to be just cut a little bit and shaped. So I'm just gonna do that. And so all I've done here is put a line. You can see there's a line along here and in here there is a shape. And all I'm gonna do is just gonna cut that so that, so that gives it enough room to sit underneath. I'm gonna go get on with that now. So while I'm working up here on the bathroom next door, because it's raining so much, which I mentioned earlier, I noticed here a little problem that we have. Oh, I just heard the drip. We have a little drip in the ceiling there, you see it? It's coming from up in the attic. 
So let's climb up and see if we can see what there is. We have a little window here, which if you push up, um, oh, I don't want to take it off. You can see, you can see out there that we have another one of these little windows that has no glass in it. But that's our, our roof there. And that is a little hole. And there's a ladder here you can use to climb up right up to the top of the roof up there. I'm gonna to have to get a roofer in. Can you kiss me, heaven sighs, and the One last quick glimpse of what's going on at Notre Dame at the renovations. And now let's go to La Lande. It's lovely to wake up in this beautiful, beautiful space. It's Simon's first time staying in here. The only downside is that as you can see, we are in two beds, very Victorian, not very romantic. What do you think of that, sweetheart? <laughs> Well, I brought you coffee. I'm very comfortable. I had a good night's sleep. Thank you for bringing me coffee. Okay. It's so nice. Spose. It's always nice to be in the same bed, but you know. I know, but these are really good beds. It's comfortable. And I had to sleep so a good night's sleep last night. Mm. Last time I was in here, when I glanced over, it was at Isabella. Oh. And. This time when I glance over, it's at you yeah. and at Baudelaire. And because Baudelaire. Bowie's here with us. Yes, our and he, here. he and Lancelot are in love. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> they are inseparable. Little, little puppy love. Puppy little puppy love. love. I know. So yeah. he's desperate to get downstairs. Some people might remember a song by that name. If you can remember who sang it, put it in the comments. <laughs> okay, we need to get dressed because she's waiting ready. for us for breakfast. Yeah, okay, it's breakfast. We need to go. Hello, darling. Good morning at Chateau de la Lande. Look at you. And there we are with our lovely view outside. I mean, you're dying to go meet your little buddy, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I know, soon. So before we go out today, of course, I had to think about what jewelry to wear for our day out. It's a very glamorous crowd. And so I decided to wear some beautiful pieces from the Chateau Love website. I've got this parure of Wedgwood Green. It's a necklace, a ring, and this magnificent brooch. And because it's uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend, I thought that the green would be a really nice touch. It's all just so discreet and perfect for day. And then because we're with friends, especially Steve and Sarah, who love Art Nouveau as much as we do, I wore my very fabulous, it's not really mine, it's again for the website. This is a fabulous Art Nouveau enamel bangle. And then here, this other piece that's extraordinary. This is also, it's a panther, diamond, and emerald bracelet. I'm gonna be really sad to see that one go. And then I wonder what jewelry I'm gonna to wear tonight. Again, very fabulous crowd. So um, the jewelry is, for me, the key. I came straight from Paris, so my wardrobe this weekend is all black, unfortunately, but I think I can elevate it a little bit with some of my, some of my bling. And then it'll go right back on the website. We are on our way to Emmo's. And here we have La Lande behind us. All ready for some shopping? Yeah, let's go and uh, see what they have. Definitely. Yeah, the weather's picked up, it's lovely. It's getting sunny again. We have a gaggle of Chatelaines, Julie yeah. and Carolina back there, and the others. All gathering. Patrick Stewart, Steve, Sarah, and Candace. I think we're, it's going to be a mad scrap for the good stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Good morning, gorgeous Let's ladies. See. All the good stuff's normally hidden. Simon, Julia and Carolina have offered us a chandelier mm -hmm. as part nice. of the swap meet. You want to go have a look? Sure, if you want to. Yeah. Look, there's Thor up in the eaves. Yeah. I really like eating their uh, food. Oh, don't know. Baudelaire can't eat the peacock poo, oh, that's no, not good. I brought him out here to have something to eat and he was more interested in this, in the poo. 
Anyway. Look at that giant bit of fabulousness. But do we have a place for it? That's the question. What is this, all beads? Yep, it's beads and gold. It's modern, so I'm kind of wondering oh, yeah. where it might go. It's also very long. It's very long, it's but... It's very high ceiling for this, so that would mean either in the main hallway or... Uh... Yeah. Okay, I think people are I think going. I think it's time to go to Emmo's. This is Baudelaire's first trip to Emmo's, and he's going in fine company, although we're the last in line, and they're going to get to the good stuff first, sweetheart. Look at your face, you're like, please don't buy anything else from no, MO's. It's never it's <laughs> never about being the first one there. If the treasures are good, they're hidden somewhere. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So you never you never have to know how to look. worry about getting there first. Yeah. They put all the stuff they've priced, they've overpriced at the front. Ah, you think. Yeah, I'm not sure it works like that. I'm pretty sure all the good stuff is the stuff they haven't sold forever and that's buried underneath something at the back. It's my th that's my strategy anyway. All right, good, good strategy. Springtime with the beautiful magnolias. We're driving through the back streets of La Châtre until we get to Emmo's, which is just around the corner. Gangs all here. <laughs> Anything in mind? I'm looking at that ebonized wardrobe. That looks quite nice. Ooh, that is quite nice. I want to show you something that I think is pretty incredible. Okay. So look at this. We don't need it before you get nervous, but for a hundred euros here in Emmos, yeah. look at the carving on this. It's a hunting scene. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's great, isn't it? It's hunting deer. It is deer. a complete hunting scene. And I mean, it's magnificent. Yeah, it's good. Imagine what somebody could do with that. Yes. Well, there's a lot of this stuff available here in uh, France. Here in it's France, kind of but it's very rare to find in other places. The thing but, is, it's getting it in perfect condition. I mean, yes. This isn't, this isn't bad, you know, because they have these finials on the top. Sometimes they're broken. Exactly. Uh, or lost. But uh, this one seems to have its intact finials. And, uh, it even has a castle in the background. A in the background, because he's the lord out hunting, you see. He's hunting stag on his land. I wonder how hard it would be to buy something like that and turn it into something else, like a headboard. Wouldn't that be cool? Now, that one might be too small unless it's for a single. Mm -hmm. It would have to be, you need quite a long... Quite but it would be really interesting. What we have done with this type of thing, which is really successful, is that we turn it into bathroom furniture. That's true. In... Um, these, this normally comes off, mm -hmm. um, and this is a great base. And you can put a sink unit or two sink units in uh, either side here and plumb from the back, paint the wood, and um, it, it ends up being a really nice, beautifully carved uh, bathroom unit. Well, for anyone who remembers, we did that for one of our bathrooms in the chateau. Yeah, we did a whole big transformation with that. It was beautiful. We are now on our way to another antique store. This time, hopefully, with a few nicer things than MMOs, but we'll see. Stephanie, yeah. do you need a wedding dress? No. So I found the veil this morning, actually, yes. at MMOs, and now, now Perfect. I think it. I think it's got so much <laughs> charisma. Just make sure you have to, you style your hair like that as well on the big day. The thing is, you've no idea how tempting this is. Do you know what I mean? It'll be free. And actually, okay. it would actually be quite epic. No, no, no. Marie could do flowers in your hair. It's actually quite a pretty dress. It's quite pretty. It is quite a pretty dress. Maybe not for the big day, but it is quite a pretty dress. Simon, what have you got? Oh, it's a bronze lamp. I love those. It's a beautiful little flower oh. stem. Oh, is it Art Nouveau? It's Art Nouveau. Okay. And uh, the lamp shade, I think, is original. Yeah. It's, it's slightly frayed on the back here. I'm not in love with the lamp shade, but the lamp is, the lamp is gorgeous. Is it's the same color. It works in the parish. How much is it? 
I think it's uh, 24 euros. We'll okay. see what I can get it for. Well, make sure it works, because we've got a few lamps at home that don't work. Well, I didn't buy those, so let's just... Oh, that's naughty. Let's just get that on the record, please. So, Julie and Caroline have made out like bandits. They've got five mirrors, including this magnificent gothic one. That's beautiful. I know. Everybody's doing really well. Have you guys found anything, Patrick? Yes, a lamp. Oh, this lamp? No, the other one. The, the, the brass behind it. Oh, Very cute. the brass one. Oh, look at that hiding in the back. That's lovely. Well done. I'm way too snoopy. I would have known. <laughs> <laughs> have you done? I've turned my back for one second. What have you done, Simon? Are you, are you buying them? They're bought. What? We did a deal. Before what, what, what I about turned, before with, I could with my cape and my chickens as well? Everything. <gasps> the whole lot is in. This lamp. Okay. Uh, beautiful Art Nouveau vases. These vases are exquisite. There are yeah. two of them in bronze and they're matching and facing they're matching each other. Pair. When we get to La Lande, can we pull them out and look at them properly? Because I haven't had a chance to see them of properly. Course, You've course. been over here wheeling and dealing without me. Of course. I was too busy trying on my beautiful new cape. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, we also... Philip's chickens. <laughs> they're so sweet. It's so kind of you. Thank you. Don't be silly. It, that was a bank breaker, naturally. <laughs> that it was, was at least... It was, uh, it was that, those, those really or the vases. He really didn't want to let those go. <laughs> really, he was like... Oh, I'm not sure. But they're so sweet. <laughs> they're kind of Philip's grandmother had some just like those. He's like... Stephanie's going to kill us. We have to stop right now. <laughs> She's hiding. Could you say no to that? I could. There was, there was a bit more blunt than I expected. <laughs> Simon and I are so excited because now that we've brought our vases into the back of the car, the <laughs> colors are exquisite with the marble base and the bronze has been tinted in these beautiful fading shades, very typically Art Nouveau of gold and copper, dark green. They're really spectacular. And here we are arriving home away from home. <laughs> <laughs> we're all about to head downstairs for our big swap of antiques and things that we're exchanging from each other's chateau but also one of the great things about visiting friends especially friends that are all newly engaged as i get to bring gifts to everyone and of course their jewelry gifts because every time I see something that I think that somebody will like, um, it's just a wonderful opportunity to buy something really special and unique for my friends. And so I'm getting all of those things ready right now to take downstairs. And now time to get ready for the evening. I've got on the, my black swan earrings from Venice that Simon gave me for Valentine's Day. And I have pinched this extraordinary hand-carved celluloid brooch of two swans from the website. I love being able to wear these things before passing them on to their next owners. So I'm actually got my whole big black swan outfit. But yes, I'm all feathers. It's all about the swans. We're all swans tonight. Just in time. We're all, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers fellow Chatelains. Thank you, Philip and Stephanie. Good, good question. Is that for the yeah. Oh, that's what it can. Yeah. 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 It's gorgeous. Oh, this is beautiful, Stephanie. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Marie. I will, but thank you for... Marie, and thank you for Lalonde, and thank you for everything. And thank you for inviting us. Yes! This is the most beautiful evening ever. It's another exciting day here at Lalonde, and it is 
St. Patrick's Day. So for St. Patrick's Day, obviously I have to wear a little bit of green and this fantastic early 20th century four leaf clover rhinestone brooch. I think it's gonna be a sparkly happy day, but I hope there's not gonna be any green beer. Maybe green champagne. We'll see what the day has in store for us. I know that we're having an amazing tea party this afternoon and we have some new chatelains coming to join us. As usual, Philip's table is beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, well, everyone helps, but also it's not exactly what I had in mind, but we run out of time, so it's... I think it's lovely. It's the beginning of spring, and Marie's floral arrangements are stunning. And yes, that's the joke that we got at uh, Ed Bernard's. Oh. And that's the other one I already have. Okay, so there's the jug. There's today's jug. Today's jug. Oh, and it matches, right. almost. So this is corn and this is celery. Uh, yeah. But most importantly, over here, we have the most glamorous chickens <laughs> they tie everything together they, they do. do they do it's the perfect room with the chickens right before we leave there have been a few small disasters i don't believe you it looks perfect um, this is what the caramel slice looks like when sliced oh so we've decided to abort and let everyone make their own mess over here um no other than that it's oh yes and i couldn't get the little meringue things out of the tins doesn't it matter digging in now to get to the meringue there are absolutely no calories on this table no, no whatsoever we <laughs> can't get to any we're going to eat with abandon <laughs> Well, it is clear that nobody liked this tea at all whatsoever. <laughs> Our plates are practically licked clean. <laughs> Goodbye, Chambre Rose. It's been a beautiful stay. First day here with Isabella and then here with Simon. It's just beautiful house full of Chatelaine's. Bonnie just arrived, but Steve and Sarah are leaving. Yeah. Manor and Maker. Mm -hmm. We're in the house out. <laughs> We've got Lady of the Chateau. Oh, you guys are going to stay a little bit longer. Yeah, Philip. Hello, I'm Simon. Well. Hello. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick and Stuart and Candace. My goodness, what an amazing... What an amazing weekend. Thank it's you really so great. much, okay. Stephanie. Well, thanks all for coming. Because yes, it's well. not that easy to get here. I know. Thanks for hosting us. It was really yeah. enchanting. Well, actually, really. thanks, thanks to Marie for hosting <laughs> you. Yes. 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 It's always so magical. And then we've got always got so much to talk about, all of us together. <laughs> and thank you for the wonderful gifts. Well, oh, likewise. Goodness, hang on. Thank you. you. <laughs> Literally, for all of us, amazing gifts. Yes. Yes. Well, it was it was a lovely thing to exchange. Yeah. We've got our fabulous new curtains and a, and a mirror to fix. And then, of course, we went shopping and all of us got treasures. Mm. <laughs> marvelous, marvelous treasures. I almost forgot the best gift of all. This was a lovely gift from you guys. I was looking at auction and I, this sort of reminded me of you. It's hand painted. I know, it's so beautiful. I was so, so touched. So I'm gonna have to find a lovely place for it. It's difficult when there's one on its own. Yeah. But if you can use it even just to serve biscuits. But it's a no, real I work think, of I think art. It's, it's yeah. one to put on the stand. I know, but hey, a biscuit is also a work of art. A biscuit <laughs> is a work of art on a work of art. I have to say, the biscuits today were pretty much works of art. Scones. Some, Not to look at that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Thank you so much. I'm so I hope, happy. I hope you know it finds a nice place in the house because I know you love everything with birds. I do, and I love everything hand painted porcelain, especially if it's nice quality like this. And it was so thoughtful. And soon you two will be hand painting porcelain together. I oh, would love. Yes. You know, he's got a he's got a set ready to do yes. with you. We just need a kiln or two. Mm. Mm. Might be in the market for a kiln. Yeah, actually, might we'll be a nice kiln. engagement present. <laughs> Who is that to? <laughs> if, any, if anybody out there. <laughs> Do you want me to buy the engagement present? To me. And I'm not going to give you engagement present. Oh, present. this is instead of the... Um... Diamond. Diamond. <laughs> 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 oh, well, let's put it that way. You want to kill me. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's like I've already got quite a lot of jewellery. <laughs> 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 so I was like, okay, we are really properly going now. We are leaving this house. <laughs> it doesn't matter how heavy it is. So thank you both so much. We are 
We are leaving your house with magnificent curtains. Exhibit A. I think we're reaching your house. A magnificently mm -hmm. broken Venetian mirror, which we are going to repair. And a very beautiful small dog. <laughs> are you taking Is him? It? Oh, we no, are. Yes. We are. <laughs> okay. We can't part We can't. They're totally inseparable at this point. I'm surprised not joined at this point. It is. It is puppy love. It is puppy love. And thank you both. So we are leaving La Lande with lots of treasures. But of course, the greatest treasure is your friendship. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Cue, cue La Beyond Rose music. He's like, I'm sticking to renovation. <laughs> Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Such a pleasure.